So we moved indoors and I'm just going to talk a little bit about the new supplements that I've added on um, to my regimen. Um, so this is a different brand of liposomal vitamin C. I'm trying this one. It's just Nutravein, um, I guess that's the brand, and it's 1600 milligrams per serving, which you, the per serving for this one is like two. So for two pills, you're going to be 1600 milligrams. Um, I've been taking, basically meaning that like it's only going, my camera fell. <laughs> so um, anyways, uh, 1600 milligrams, that's for two of these. Um, I take three a day, so they're 800 milligrams of liposomal vitamin C um, per pill. Uh, so far, so good. Um, normally the other brand I was taking was one of the uh, SHC glutathione um, brands though to be honest every liposomal vitamin C I've taken I really liked um, I've never had any issues um, with the liposomal pills um, the thing to keep in mind I guess would just be fitting it into whatever your budget is and so you have to think about how much you want to take per day um, for me for the longest time I was only taking I think 2,000 milligrams per day. Um, I bought, I boosted it up right now since like I'm around the virus. Like um, I just boosted it up just to help my immune system a little bit more. But um, for like my skin, um, yeah, I only, I only need like 2,000 milligrams. And um, yeah, that's how after we found out that people who even get um, the glutathione IVs, that people giving them the vitamin C pushes, they would only give them probably 1500 milligrams to 2000 of vitamin C so we really don't need too much and you have to be careful because if you take a lot a lot of vitamin C it could cause you to have um, even you know uh, stronger periods or uh, just heavier heavier periods and it could cause you to bruise easily and all of those types of things so you kind of have to be careful with that um, so I would just if you're gonna take like a lot of it you know do so because you're worried about like your immune system or something um but like for a long term there's really no need if you're just doing it for your skin so then i went back to hyaluronic acid and this is just that something's really good for your skin and your hair and um this one is by amazing formulas i used this one last year and it's about 100 milligrams per so for one capsule is 100 milligrams. I take one in the morning and then I take one at night. So I'd like to take 200 milligrams, but um, to be honest, most people only take 100 to 150 and they still get amazing results. Um, and so this is just gonna, um, it does help with boosting collagen. So it's gonna help your skin look prettier, um, brighter, and it will help your hair grow. Um, and that's basically what it does. But there's no need to like really like mega dose it. I just like to be extra and take 200 milligrams. Do whatever works for you. And then this is chelated zinc. And basically it's just to boost immune system. And chelated just means that it helps with absorbing into your bloodstream because like a lot of other supplements, um, you know, most of us like bioavailability, it, uh, it just goes out with our urine. So this helps it to actually be absorbed and I'm taking, these are 22 milligrams per pill, I think. Yeah. So I'm taking um, two pills and you have to take this with food. So this is just, um, I heard that zinc also helps for acne. Um, we'll see if it helps with my acne. Uh, I will let you guys know. But, um, oh yeah, this is also hyaluronic acids also just to help with acne. So. Um, we'll see how this goes. I just started both of these back up again, so it's too soon to see any changes. But, um, for this, 44 milligrams, like, that's a lot. I think most vitamins and things that have zinc in it only have, like, 3 milligrams to 7 milligrams. So, I'm just ODing right now. Well, it's not ODing, but I'm just taking a lot just to be safe. Um, I bought another bottle of glutathione, um, the same one, the acetyl. So this is my, I've already done three months, so this will be my fourth month on it, and I'm still just taking 600 milligrams a day, so 300 in the morning, 300 in the evening. Obviously during this time I have been drinking, and so, you know, when you drink it gets into like your, you know, your glutathione stores, and so it definitely I don't want to say it completely cancels out how much of time you're taking but it takes some let's just be honest it takes some so um it'll be interesting to see how this month goes without drinking so yeah, stay tuned
Stay tuned for that. <laughs> so it's the evening and I forgot that there were two more supplements that I have added on. Um, vitamin D, I wanted to say that it does nothing for your skin, but um, obviously these are like more immune support type supplements. But when I was looking it up online, I did find something that did say that that vitamin D will not only um, affect your skin, but also like your stomach and gut health. And so anything that affects your stomach and gut health is going to affect your skin. So I'm really excited to see if this will help, um, you know, with the acne that I have like on my chin and um, I have some sparse breakouts on my back too. So we will see, um, but mostly this, this is just for immune support. Um, right now, um, so one pill is 50 mcg, which is 2000 IU. Um, taking one, like, I think that's a pretty good dose, but I'm actually taking two, which 4000 IU, 4000 to 6000, like, it is known as a moderately high dose. So it's kind of a mega dose. Um, I'm doing that, obviously, because um, I'm around someone who is sick. And so I'm trying to just prep my body um, because, you know, there is a very, very high chance that in 10 days I will start to see symptoms. And so I'm trying to just do everything I can to boost it up. Thankfully, the other um, supplements that I've been taking, like glutathione, like liposomal vitamin C, um, MSM, and the NAC, I've been on those for months. And so I do have a baseline just of um, immune support because those all affect your immune system and keeping you healthy. But um, I had to add on the D3. This is very, very, very important if you're around someone who's sick or if you're worried about if you do get sick and wanting to like kick it quickly, a lot of people are recommending this vitamin D3. And so um, definitely don't skip it. I mean, you're already doing liposomal um, vitamin C. So this is really easy to add on. Um, there's a hundred soft gels in here. So, I mean, I'm gonna be good <laughs> for a very, very long time because I'm only taking two at a time. So, just FYI, uh, this is very, very, very important for the times we're living in. So, uh, elderberry, elderberry is pretty popular. Um, I got this because not only is it elderberry, but it is zinc. Uh, these gummies are kind of expensive. You can definitely make your own elderberry or it's called Sambuccus. Um, those are both the same thing. And you can like um, make like a tea with it. It's amazing. People have been using it for many, 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 many years. And basically it um, cuts down on the time that they have a cold or the time that they have a flu. And um, it's just a huge, it's, I mean, it's all natural and um, really, really boosts your immune system. Uh, like I said, I was taking it because I know it is good with the other sicknesses that are out there. So I was hoping it's good for, you know, this. I can't say the name because YouTube gets weird about, you know, yeah. So we just have to pretend like, yeah. It doesn't exist, basically. Um, but yeah, this one has vitamin C and zinc. Um, but if you see, it only has like a little bit of zinc in it. Like, uh, let me flip it over. It's literally like, I think 3.5 milligrams of zinc. Um, yeah, 3.75 milligrams. Um, so if you were to take two of these, you're only getting like around seven milligrams all in all that's why i bought the um the chelated zinc um chelated just means it's absorbed into your body easier because um you know bioavailability so uh, i know for my family member who is very sick right now that i'm taking care of the doctor did say or recommend that um, they get started on like 100 to 200 milligrams of zinc which at first i thought we misheard the doctor <laughs> but because you know everything that you buy over the counter is in such a small dosage but no they weren't lying so you know if you're you know going through it obviously if you're dealing with the sickness that's going around right now going up to 100 if you have it and like you know that you have it then like that might also help you know you to kick it quicker um but for people who are trying to just ward it off or it, not even ward it off but if you do get infected help your body get over it quicker um to me anything like right now i'm taking 44 milligrams of zinc i mean i feel like that should be more than enough i mean that is a huge huge change from the normal seven milligrams of zinc that you'll find plastered all over the the internet about you know what's the normal dose for zinc like they're going to tell you like three to seven milligrams, but yeah, just know that 
there are people who who are very very sick who are being given like a hundred milligrams of zinc or two hundred milligrams of zinc. Um, obviously, I'm not going that much, but you know, I think 44 is more than enough.